What's up, everybody? I was thinking about what I was going to talk about if I come back on here, and I didn't know. So I thought I'd say, I thought, I thought I'd talk about this. Uh, when I first came out being gay, I remember of me being so scared of being out by myself and out hanging out with other people. So I remember this one time, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I was out and I was enjoying myself. And you know me, I used to be like, I used to be a materialistic person. As I walk in there, uh, I remember back, back, me, back then they had dope men Nikes. That's what they used to call them in the hood. I had some purple suede Nikes because I love the Nikes. I love it. Every Nike that I had, I loved. Like Jordans, every everything. I loved it. So I had I remember me having on, I think this not these Nike tennis shoes with this Nike sweatshirt with this Nike hat. Oh baby, yeah. I know what y'all saying. Dang, he was Nike down. Exactly. I loved me some Nike. And uh I went in there and I guess I was just feeling myself. I didn't think I was feeling myself. I guess that's how everybody else thought. Because I went in there and I seemed to get into it with a whole bunch of homosexuals that I didn't know at the time. I got into it with them. Now, as life progressed, I think we got, we, we learned to get along with each other. And I think we became friends. I'm not even sure. But to make a long story short, um, these homosexuals, y'all, end up jumping on me. And this is the story time about me going to the club. <laughs> This was the first time I ever been to a gay bar. This was the first time I ever experienced anything like this because I, uh, in my world, in my world, it didn't exist that I didn't hang around a whole bunch of gay people. I didn't hang around a whole bunch of homosexuals. I didn't hang around a whole bunch of transgender. I mean, I didn't hang about around a whole bunch of drag queens. I, I really didn't too much know nothing about that. You know, I wasn't immune to that. You know, uh, in high school, the only thing, only people that I hang around with were a whole bunch of girls. I didn't hang around a whole bunch of uh, boys. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, gay people, nothing like that. Only thing that I knew was I was different. That's the only thing I knew. The only thing I knew was I didn't like girls. And once I experienced that, I was okay. But I never told my mom that I didn't like girls. That was the issue that I've always, I always, years and years to come, if you go back and look at my videos, I don't know if I mentioned in one of my videos, years and years to come, my mom knew nothing about my lifestyle. Hey, if you want to be real now, I think up until like three to four years ago, she didn't know too much about my lifestyle. Only thing my mama knew was I was dating my ex. That's the only thing she knew. Because my mom never really did too much come over my house. And then my mama had, she had felt a certain type of way. She had been feeling a certain type of way for years that I had not let her inside my life and enjoyed my life with her because she felt that me and her had a special bond. But I was always the type of person to be close knit. I didn't want people to be too close to me. And I, I don't know, maybe that's the reason why that them, them homosexuals jumped on me at the club that night. Because I felt like that I'd never been the type of person that wanted to be that close to people. And maybe they felt that I was being too sedity or too, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? I want to say obnoxious, but I'm not. Um, 
I want to say arrogant. That I was just using this word. We were just talking about this word the other day. And I came, uh, how come every time I, I do a video and I'm trying to find the right words, I can't never find the right words, y'all. Uh, I'm just going to say Sadiq. So I think that was the issue. You know, everybody thought that I was still, I mean, even to this day, like if I go and spend money, people think that I, I, I'm sedated. You know, think see, like if I got something in my kitchen and I like my house a certain type of way, people think that. You know, they think that I'm I'm, I'm sedated because the way my house looks. Uh, I don't know the other word for it. Uh, I guess you can say people think you all of that. I mean, because the word that I'm actually looking for, I can't remember the word. You know, uh, yeah, I can't remember the word, y'all. So anyway, I think people thought that I was like that, which... I never thought that I was like that. I always thought that I would know better than anybody else. I always thought that the same way that other people had to work for their things, that I had to work for my things. But I also always thought that I had to work a little bit harder. Not because I was gay. Not because... I had seizures. It was because when I was in school, I never discussed this with anybody. This is the first time I was in special ed. You know, I didn't, I didn't know how to, I didn't too much know how to read. I didn't too much. I know how to read, but I didn't know how to read like big words. I knew math problems, but I like knew like maybe adding subtraction. It took me a long time to learn how to add money or subtract money. I I didn't even know how to multiply. And you know what? It's 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 crazy. It's crazy that I can provide for myself and that I can take care of myself now and I can pay all my bills. But you know what? At the end of the day, I still don't know nothing about no multiplying and no division and fractions and all of that. I didn't. And, but that's how it was with me in school. Everybody think that I, I wasn't paying attention. It wasn't that I wasn't paying attention. It was hard for me. Uh, It used to be that it was hard for me because of, of my seizures. But I never did blame that on my seizures. I blamed it. I just took responsibility that I just didn't, I didn't know how to do it. And I didn't understand it. And I used to, it was a lot of nights that I used to go to bed. And it was a lot of nights that I used to cry. Because it was like I was different from the other kids. Not only that I was gay, but I also didn't know how to read. And, you know, I didn't even know how to do a cursing. Everything I did in my whole life was print everything. When I do uh, an application for an apartment, I print. When I sign paperwork, I print. And if I, if I um, sign something, they say sign, I go like that. Because I don't know, I don't know it. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's hard when you don't know something and you don't know how to do it. Uh. But I can say this, y'all. I can say this. My mom worked with me on a lot of things. And the main thing that she worked on me with was building out checks, building out money orders, learning how to pay my bills. I learned that. And I think that was a good thing because I think if I didn't know none of that, I think I would have been a, a creep. Because people take advantage of people. I say that all the time. And people will manipulate you on doing certain things. 
because I think it happened to me several times when I was younger. And I was in the club scene. And like I told y'all, I got jumped on by four or five people. Because in high school, I was always scared to fight. I would never fight. I wouldn't even... I didn't even like going to the gym because I didn't like dressing out. Because you remember in high school, you had to dress out and wear gym shorts, wear the, uh, them white shorts, them white gym shorts. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I will always find something else to substitute that because, you know, gym was a must. I didn't like working out. I was very lazy when it came to going to the gym because I did not like it. So the other perhaps things that was, I would go to the principal, go to my counselor and ask her to put me in ROTC. That was something that I kind of liked it because it was something that I didn't have to deal with. You know, but even though I got initiated for being on the drill team and the initiated process was like you run through They hit all on you and stuff, but they didn't hit you in your face. But at the same token, that didn't really bother me because I guess it didn't bother me because I was used to it because I would run home from school every day because people would pick on me and people would jump on me. So when people think that I had an easy lifestyle, I had a hard lifestyle. Nothing came to me easy. Everything came to me in a very, very hard way. So, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video to your mom, your friends, your friends, family. Share these people to the world. And I hope you get a good understanding on what I'm talking about about this video. Thank you.